Okay. So, oh, do I have, does I have my book assist? Does I have, oh, it's up there. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, Aries. Well, yeah, I'm gonna do Aries. And then I'll, yeah, I got this. I got this. So how y'all doing? Good afternoon. Um, This is gonna be in Aries reading. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Um, and let's get into it. Let's talk about it. So, tell me what Aries needs to know. What's going on in Aries life currently. And what they see. What they do know. And what answers to any questions that they may have about any situations. Mm. Temperance, judgment. Judgment on bottom, temperance on top. Mm. Okay. Uh, on top, four of pentacles and four of wands. Four may be significant to you because that four of pentacles wanted to come out so bad. But start peeking through. Uh, page of cups is on the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to start with nine of wands. The reverse of this card serves as a warning that you are at your last wits. Your strength has been depleted and your energies may run dangerously low. Health-wise, you may feel run down or depressed for the difficulties and obstacles you have encountered have been, taking, have been taxing and all-consuming. In situations, this card warns that the effort you have wasted will get you nowhere. Defeat is a possibility and delays can be expected. It can only advise you to try to rest and recover what you have left in order to move on. Okay, so then we have death next, so which is probably death of that situation. Um, I thought it was somewhere this way. Where am I? This way. Mm. There we go. Yeah, three twenty tweet, but I missed it. But I seen it, but I didn't see it quick enough. Oh well. Mm. The aftermath of death brings the hope of rebirth. A new beginning lies from uh, past situations. The future looks brighter than before as something new has come into your life. In a situation, the reverse of this card marks the beginning of something new from the ruins of the previous situation. New projects are to come to light and new hope will bring forth slow and steady growth of something better. Okay, yeah. So you may have lost whatever battle you was going through, but it's saying the death of that situation is to come in. You know, once you go down, the only way you can go is up. So yeah, nine of cups. Relationships to all oh shit will be fulfilling as emotions will flow easily, including love, trust, and friendship. Satisfaction in one's job and career will be reached, along with better level of camaraderie. Com com <laughs> camaraderie, four forty four, <laughs> with your workmates and management. Camaraderie, camaraderie. Com I don't know. I don't know. Sound like that. Okay, the Page of Pentacles is next. Mm. 
This card indicates small gains in areas of work and life and relationships. It symbolizes entering the stage of infancy or childbearing where the consummation of bodies accumulate in the creation of life. So, okay, cool. So maybe, you know, you might be having a baby soon after you get rid of all of this other shit you got going on. Maybe you got somebody pregnant right now throughout all of this shit. You never know. You never know. Two of Wands, or maybe you planning, you know, to have children, but you might not already got baby on the way. Something like that. Two of Wands. Okay. In a situation, this card heralds a prosperous partnership, venture, or merger of any sort. It also shines positively on the purchase of new investments and properties, along with other matters dealing with money. Okay, this card foretells prosperity and partnerships and production. Mm. Okay, cool. So that's the saying that, you know, things will come back together, work, business, your relationship, life, you know, bringing, you'll be bringing forth life. Bringing forth life could be a new business as well, you know, it depends on what you got going on. You could have both, shit, you never know. Okay. Yeah, that could be like life to creation of a bit for a business, you know, something of that nature. So, yeah. So, let me do the magician next. I thought I seen a bug, y'all, but it was a piece of tobacco because I be smoking on the bed. Sad. It's all right. Okay. Uh, or it's on my clothes. It won. The magician. In reverse. Outside forces hold him back. He is unable to channel his energy. He is distracted or blinded by other things. As an individual, this card represents someone who has found him or herself in a rut in life. This person shows all the signs of promise and success, yet he or she lingers in the same spot for weeks to months. This person is often blinded by what holds him or her back and can become self-loathing and destructive if he or she focuses on it for too long. Focuses on it for too long. In situations, this card brings a light to a uh, a light to light a block in the flow of any project or relationship. Sometimes the block may be an external for influence, and other times the block can come from within the project or relationship. Either way, the hindrance needs to be identified and addressed in order to overcome the situation. So yeah, figure out what's going on and what may be blocking you back. Like it could be speaking on this situation uh that was happening in the sand like before because i don't see a tower in here so it could be referring to that you know it could be saying like you know after you feel defeated and stuff like like after you felt defeated with this nine of wands card and this is saying you know you could have been feeling defeated for a reason well you are usually feeling defeated for a reason so it's like what happened in your life to make you feel defeated like what were you going through at that time to make you like not pay attention to things like what type what made you get into a rut because it says you were in a certain type of rut so what made you get into that rut and then yeah saying the death of that as well but you have to you know pull yourself out of that so you got to figure out what's blocking your energy and release it and you will grow from the situation and you'll become this king of pentacles and that's the last card in terms of a situation drawing the king of pentacles indicates good growth and a profit for a financial sense career-wise a senior position may become available or you may receive recognition from a senior member of the company or organization. In relationships, this card represents a sense of stability and comfort has been reached. So yeah, you're comfortable in everything you have going on at this point. Now, well, not this exact point, but after you get through all this stuff, if you already gone through it, this could be something that you already recently went through or this could be something that you're currently going through now. So yeah, you will end up on the proper side of it, on the proper side of it. Okay, so yeah. Have a good day. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your energy. 
like and subscribe to give me some energy back you know i need all my energy too so wherever my energy is spread around i'm collecting it and calling it all in give it to me give it to me give it to me thank you have a great day well i want it it's mine i got it